In this video, I will show you how to change your IP address. First, go to the start, click on the settings. In the setting, click on network and internet. In here, we need to click on change adapter options. In the adapter option, right click on the ethernet and then select properties. Now we have to go to internet protocol version 4. Double click on that. Make sure you're on the general tab and you can see at the moment my IP address is obtained automatically but if you want to change it to a manual one by that we will change what it is at the moment. Just bear in mind that this change would change your internal IP address and not your external IP address. As we have this open go to the start and right click here and select Windows PowerShell. Here, just type in IP config and press enter. Here, it will show you the link local one. The first one is the physical one. The second one is your internal IP address. Then we have subnet mask and the default gateway. For most of the computers, subnet mask and default gateways are the same. So on the other window, we need to click on use the following IP address. And we can simply just type in the same numbers here, 168, 1, and 1. And subnet mask would be 255-255-255-0. Our new IP address would be 192-168-1. So the question here is what would be the last three digits that we want to change to? So we need to go back to the PowerShell and double check the current IP address that are there and make sure we would not select those ones and we would select a new IP address. To find out what IP addresses you got, all you need to do is type in ARP space dash A and then press enter. It brings a list of all the IP addresses that you got. So double check that you are not going to use the same IP address as it's listed in here. So we're going to change it to something that's not there. Let's say 222. So now we have manually changed the IP address. We also have to change the DNS server address. For the Google, it is 8, 8, 8, and 8. An alternative DNS, we can put 4, 4, and 4. Now we have successfully changed the IP address. All you need to do now is pr press OK, OK. And then if you go back to the PowerShell and then type in ping google.com, enter. You can see our internet is working. That means we have successfully have changed the IP address. And in case you want to change your IP address back to automatic, all you need to do is go back to network connections, right click, properties, double click, change to obtain IP address automatically, this also automatically, click OK, OK, and here in the corner, after a few seconds, you can see we got the internet back. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos that you can see on the screen and to subscribe. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.